so there's two kinds of anticipation, right? There's the anticipation that we have by like, wow, I, I feel like someone's going to ask me a question in an interview, right? Which is a logical anticipation because here I am sitting in this chair and you've got a camera and you're interviewing me, right? Um, so that kind of anticipation we already know about. But there's this other kind of anticipation, which a lot of people aren't aware of. And that's the kind of work, um, that's the kind of thing I've been looking at, which is the unconscious uh, anticipation that is expressed through physical changes in the body. Heart rate increase, uh, increase in the amount of electricity that goes through your skin, so skin conductance, um, brainwave changes, um, respiration changes, you know, how quickly you breathe. And these things add up to uh, a picture that suggests that, for instance, before you might see a snake about to strike at you, even if you didn't hear any sounds, and even if you didn't have any memory of being in this location before and there were lots of snakes or something, even in that situation, without any perceptual or memory cues, your body seems to uh, produce some changes that indicate it's getting ready for something important to happen, as an emergency, maybe it's secreting adrenaline, or getting the sympathetic nervous system is getting activated to respond to this event a threat that's about to occur or sometimes an exciting event so that I've done experiments where people get excited because they get a response correct when they're I'm, I'm asking them to predict the future and people in our conscious minds were not very good at predicting the future but I record their physiology as they're doing this and then when they win I can look at the 10 second window just before they've won and I could see changes in their physiology suggesting that in fact they were starting to get excited about their future correctness